I'm in here for a uh, kidnap robbery. I've uh, been here about a year. Uh, I'm here on multiple life sentences uh, for, for murder to robbery. Uh, I've been busted for 15 years for first degree murder and two attempted murders. For voluntary manslaughter, I have 15 years on a voluntary manslaughter. Uh, I'm doing a 40 to life sentence on a little bit of robbery. Um, I'm here for six counts of armed robbery and a carjacking. For home invasion, robbery, murder. Uh, I, um, I've been incarcerated since 1988 for a first degree attempted murder. I'm here for a second degree murder. Well, I'm in the jail for murder right now. They gave me 25 to life with the possibility of parole. Um, I'm here for a violent crime. Uh, I got 45 years, my first time in prison. I'm in here in prison for a sentence of 25 to life. One year, I'm in here for 27 to life murder. Uh, murder. So repeat offender, I'm here uh, for GTA. Um, I've been locked up for, uh, uh, they gave me 25 to life. Yeah. I'll get out sometime soon within eight years, you know. I'm busted for uh, robbery, burglary. I'm in here for a gang related attempted murder. Been here since 1995 in Soto. Uh, I'm in here for um, jewelry store robbery. I came to Calipat two years ago. And I just stayed in prison. I'm in here for a second degree murder. And um, I've been down for 12 years. And so Lisa, I'm in here for dissuading a witness. I'm in here for a murder. I didn't do it. Um, I'm serving a 25 year sentence. Became, I became a gang member. Uh, I've been down 10 years. I'm in here for second degree murder. I'm serving a sentence of 18 years to life. Uh, I'm serving uh, 25 to life for second degree murder. The judge broke me off, gave me triple digit life sentence for first degree murder and attempted murders. I came to jail when I was 16 years old for a shooting. Good man, uh, I'm incarcerated right now. I've been down going on 20 years. And, uh, you know, I've been incarcerated now for 15 and a half years. I don't have life, and I'm one day looking to come home. Been involved in gangs all my life. I grew up in South Central in the 30s, you know. Man. You know, I've been coming in and out of jail since I was 15 years old. I did seven years in YA. You know, it's, it's been a continuous thing, you know. I'm here for some robberies, you know. People told on me. But... This is what I got for you guys here today, man, to let you guys know, you know, this jail thing is there's nothing to be playing with, you know, and, uh, as you come into these places right here, you know, you don't want to wait until you have to come into a place like this to change your life, you know what I'm saying? Because this place is a real dangerous place, but you know, everybody knows that it's wrong to do drugs or to drink or anything like that. I'm up here for doing a crime and I'm paying my price right now. Sitting in prison because I did something wrong. I accidentally took a man's life back in 2001. I'm here for a crime that I committed. You know, I'm serving life sentence now, though. Man, I I'm in here for a kidnap robbery, attempt to kidnap robbery, carjacking. There's not a crime that you committed that cannot be forgiven. I'm in the process of changing my life. Doing what's right. Well, I'm trying to better myself. I mean, and I'm becoming a better man now through God. That Jesus Christ has set me free from the addiction of drugs. My friends, my family, and it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. I'm walking with the Lord, and I'm trusting in the Lord. I came to the Lord nine days before my mom passed someone, and my message is, is you know, um, for for peace. Jesus. I'm sorry for everything that I've done. You know, following the Lord has really intrigued me. You know, no matter where we're at, things are always good when you go with God. You know, God can and will change you. It changed in my life, so I started studying the Bible. Believe in God, pray every day. I've, I finally turned to God and uh, He's answered me. Now I'm serving the Lord. I've been serving the Lord for three, for over three years right now. For you guys to stay strong till Daddy comes back home. Burberry. I would just like to say hi to my mom, Sarah, Stephanie, my grandmother. And just tell you that I'm trying to get out and do the right thing and get home too. And know? I thank God for getting me locked up because I want to know about the gospel. Uh, I would like to give a shout out to all my family. Family and them know that I changed my life. I gave my life to the Lord and the Lord's good all the time. Hope to see you someday to begin out. God is still working wonderful things in my life, transforming me, renewing me. So I turn everything to the Lord and uh, He kind of blessed me and helped me. And I, but I know with Him, uh, He'll bring me home to you guys one day. But I turned my life around. I gave it to God. 
He's real. And I started having a relationship with God. When I was on the run for this case, I was shot in the back of the head with a nine millimeter and I was left blind and paralyzed for a season. But God brought me back. Challenge, but through the help of God and the faith, I believe that one day that I can be strong with them. I'm a spiritual, you know what I'm saying, to get into God and everything. So keep me in your prayers, man. He done changed my whole mentality of thinking, you know, and I gave my life to Christ. I want to shoot a shout out and say that I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. To let you know the Lord will allow you to go through things to get your undivided attention and sit you down. So I want to give all the glory and honor to our Father, to our, our Savior Jesus Christ. It's also a blessing because God has blessed you with these, with this experience that He has blessed me with to sit down in order to hear Him speak to me, in order to come to Him. You know what I mean? But it's all about making the right decisions. Because if you don't make the right decisions, then it's only going to lead you two places. That's either prison or in jail. And I think I'm, it's a blessing that I did come here because if I wouldn't so right have came here, I wouldn't have found God. So y'all know how I was then and how I am now. It's totally different. So you know what I mean? I'm trying to walk towards God.